Hey guys, and welcome to our review for Doctor Sleep, directed by Mike Flanagan. My name is Scott Ellis, joined here by Phil Clark. Michael Flanagan. Yeah. In the building. Flanagan. Who's the new guy? Yeah, also joining us, Tyler Sotolsky. Back from the dead, he thought this was just a memorial. R.I.P. <laughs> it is not, or it's a hologram, is. we don't know. In no. honor of Doctor Sleep with the ghost. <laughs> And Adam Franey. Oh yeah, I'm always here. Nothing, nothing cool about me. But correct. Hey, look who it is. You need a hobby. Doctor <laughs> Sleep, uh, starring Ewan McGregor, Rebecca Ferguson, and Kylie Curran. Um, Phil, can you give us a little synopsis of Doctor Sleep uh, no. for the viewers? After the events <clears throat> of at the Overlook Hotel, Dan Torrance remains traumatized uh, when he meets a light a teen named Abra. Mm, Abra also has the extrasensory gift of the shine. And together they form an unlikely duo to battle a cult whose members try to feed off the shine to become immortal. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, there is a Pokemon tie-in uh, with Abra. Abra. Yes. I was confused about that. I was wondering when the connection would come up, and it did not. Abra used confusion. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Sleep uh, has a book uh, written by... Stephen King? Stephen King. Heard of it. Um, which was a sequel to The Shining book. Not a prequel. Not a prequel, as, uh, as some fact, thought. One might say sequel. Yes. But the sequel um, came out within the last little while? That was a prequel. Uh, within the last ten years. Yeah. Uh, from The Shining, sorry. sorry. Yeah, quite, exactly. a, quite a gap. Uh, let's start with you, Adam. Uh, what are your thoughts <clears throat> about Dr. Sleep? Sequel to what are my thoughts about Dr. Sleep, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, this is quite the... Stew of a film, <laughs> <laughs> quite the mishmash. I, 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 yeah, I don't know what to think of this. I'll be honest. I was very excited by the trailers. Mm. I was all in. I said, "My God, they've done it." Mike Flanagan <laughs> has fucking done it. He's correct. He did Gerald's Game. Gerald's Game. He's an experienced Stephen King director. Yes. Obviously. House Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. Apparently, is really good. The Haunting of well. Hill. Whatever. Haunting. Uh, <laughs> so I was very excited. And yeah, um, I think that like they lured me in with <laughs> all the shining imagery mm. in the trailer. Right. And uh, that was pretty much all in the last half hour of the two and a half hours. So... A bit in the beginning, I guess. There's, yeah, you, like there was a tease, but... A sprinkle. sprinkle. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, like... I think I hated the X-Men stuff with, like, the witch, voodoo witch woman hunting down the telekinetic mutants. Rose and, the Hat. And, like, the, like, remind me of Glass or something. I'm like, why did The Shining become this, like, comic book movie where we're, like, telepathic fighting action sequences? Like, what the fuck is happening here? Mm. Very different than The Shining in that sense. Yeah. But I the was, book is, I mean, from what I understand, it's a decent adaptation of the book. This is, yeah. like, an accurate adaptation? Yeah, from what that, I understood. I was thinking that the whole time. I was like, now I see why Stephen King hated Kubrick's Shining. Because Kubrick tried to make just, like, a regular good movie. Standalone thriller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wanted to go for, like, the drama, the psychological thriller aspect. Which I think he did. Yeah, like, I love The Shining. Mm -hmm. It's classic. But, like, less on, like, the whole, like, magic part of it, right? Yeah. Flanagan went full, like, uh, supernatural, right. I don't even know, CG, blockbuster. Um, yeah, I was not a fan of any of that. But I did like the sh more shining parts of it with Ewan McGregor. And, like, when he's not interacting with Rebecca Ferguson and all that. When he's <laughs> the witch woman. Um... I liked, we'll save it for spoiler, but I like where he goes at the end and right. dealing with all his demons, if you will. Mm. His personal demons? His personal demons. Um, Interesting. Thought it was too long. Should not have been two and a half hours. Like, if, again, if we could have somehow cut back on, like, the comic booky, like, crazy action stuff. There's a couple like segments that. of pretty much that troop that yeah. I would think if they had gotten rid of. It would have been okay. more effective. Thank you. Uh, or maybe pick one. Like, don't try to have your cake and eat it too. Mm. Maybe just do the Ian McGregor dealing with his demons as like a ninety-minute movie, 
or do this insane like uh crazy i don't know covenant-esque covenant-esque yeah movie but the fact that they're trying to mishmash them was like felt so uneven and weird to me and um that what stephen king wanted though is it i don't know i, don't I guess know. it's what he wanted i don't know but uh, he should leave the movie making to the <laughs> Kubricks of the world. Um, yeah, it's just not what I expected. How much of his hand did he have in this? I don't know. I don't. I don't think any. Okay. I don't. He like, usually doesn't. Yeah, Flanagan okay. is like a huge Stephen King junkie. That's why he's done. Yeah, it's like he's a Gerald's game. Gerald's game. Mm-hmm. Um, you got a fan directing, so obviously he's gonna treat the source material with that respect right? yeah. it felt like a fan di- getting to direct a movie like lots of again i kind of found like the fan service stuff to also be a bit lazy at times i hated the reenactment stuff like the recasting and reenactments Oof. i won't spoil it because it wasn't in the trailer but there's <laughs> some recastings and uh yeah some reenactment stuff that uh i'm not happy about pretty gross I know it's like, how are you supposed to do it? I don't know. They could have done like the CG face mapping stuff. It's, it's been done. And budget it's been, might not have been there. Budget might not yeah. have been there. I agree. <laughs> but it's just gross. Like if you're watching them back to back, you really have to suspend your disbelief. Like, oh. oh, and I watched it back to back. Oh, shit. You can weigh in. Yeah, I watched The Shining right before this. <laughs> I can't wait to hear your thoughts on what I'm talking about then. Um, oh, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, just... Some bright moments, but overall, just like too long and too tonally uneven. Interesting. But there's a lot of like spoiler shit that we can. We'll, get, we'll get to it. Mm-hmm. Um, Ty, let's jump over to you. What are your thoughts about Doctor Sleep? Uh, doc, Doctor Sleep. Uh, doc Sleep. I've been seeing someone, and I think they've been able to help me. Um, what about the movie you know? though? Called Doctor Sleep, the Stephen. King yeah, movie. no, that's what we're all talking yeah. about. It was. Um, I was there. It was uh, it was different. It was not what I was expecting. Um, mm-hmm. Well, you said you you thought it was a prequel. I oh, I didn't. Uh, so I did. Really. Okay. <laughs> so that subverts what Quite you were the twist. expecting, right? <laughs> Quite the twist. Well, it opened sequel, it opened sequel. beforehand, and I was just like, okay, so this is they're gonna you know kind of start it with kind of how it ended, and then go back to the beginning beforehand. I'm like, okay, interesting. They're gonna do it that way, and then. The years just kept going. Like, it was like... They coming and they don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stop coming like Joe Anthony stop. Russo style. Like, new title card, new year. Like, every new scene, it just kept going up and up and up. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think this is a prequel. Eight years later, that... Uh, yeah. yeah. Then he got his eight-year chip. And I was like, ah, I don't think this is a prequel. Right. Yeah. This is probably not a prequel. Um, Timelines. Yeah. <sighs> so simple. Uh, there was a couple things that tonally tonally different is the big thing that i'm gonna agree with you on that uh, you're right i just so for the listeners if you can get past that this isn't a prequel yes like you'll be on board it's gonna blow your mind yeah. first of all if you I thought this is a prequel funny. and then you watch it it's, it's just like <sighs> hurdle number one yeah it's like <laughs> what not a prequel <laughs> what <laughs> Okay. I need a minute. So, the sequel is a sequel. Okay. Step two, what did we think? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I did not love the... It, it felt like watching... Well, if you take go back to The Shining and then watch this, it feels like a very direct sort of um, correlation between uh, Ewan McGregor's character and what's going on there mm. versus what's in The Shining or what happened in The Shining. Like, it's very easy to jump from one to the other, mm-hmm. especially when he goes into the new town and, like, all this, like, you see him in his life. And it's very, very easy to make that connection. Mm-hmm. But as soon as Rebecca Ferguson came around, oh. it takes you right out of that. Preach, my brother. Mm. Everything. I did like, like, I did like her stuff at the beginning mm-hmm. and, like, like, right at the very beginning of it. That set a really good tone. But then after that, it was, like, it had nothing to do with what you thought was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I think that in a bad way, I did not like what they did with Rebecca Ferguson and her little band of merry men. It's just uninteresting. It was. I was so much more interested in Ian McGregor 
even just going through town or dealing yeah. with the addiction stuff and all of that. So I'm like, yeah, like how would growing up with that childhood trauma affect adult mm -hmm. uh, Danny Torrance? But the and the thing that bugged me the most about them is that there was no answers to who they were, how long they've been doing this, the like cult? yeah, the steam eating cult. Yeah. yeah, like they didn't tell you like how they knew each other, how they got together. Well, I how... wanted to know less about them, and that's the thing is like I <laughs> keep them out. I wanted the to movie, know please. they didn't give us anything, so why would they have given us them to begin with? Right, so that's what I was saying about pick one or the other. Yeah, either go full all in on this weird cult spinoff movie. Yeah, or give us a shining sequel. Because to me, it like. When I watched The Shining, it them didn't correlate enough to what it was trying to continue on in my mind. Yeah. So that was the big issue that I had. With and I don't that. like now that when I go watch The Shining, I'm supposed to be like, oh, outside the hotel in this world, there's a cult running around eating kids. Yeah. Like that does not fit. It's with, not. It's like it doesn't work. Doesn't doesn't make sense. It it doesn't fit in with that The Shining. It doesn't work with it. Now you could arguably make the well, Stephen King. You could make the argument I that mean, Kubrick didn't do it right. You could make that argument. Yeah, you could argue that. Quote unquote, so, didn't do it right. Yeah. Kubrick is wrong. Yeah, I say that's why I said you could make the argument. Yeah. You, you might not win, but you could try. Um, Stephen would argue that. I think he did argue that. <laughs> God. Kubrick fucked up. He said. Um, yeah, I just even when towards the end when like it, things kind of got tied up with the with that with that group, I mm. I still didn't care mm -hmm. like it was it was done it was like mm -hmm. okay so we can get to what we want to see now is mm -hmm. what kind of what i felt um agreed the hotel sequences i thought were fantastic mm -hmm. like i thought it was very well done i don't know enough to say if they went back to original location they built location if it was a real place i don't know I believe replica i believe the overlook hotel is the set okay they like, did a very good job like, set? the exterior is the exterior. Mm -hmm. It's, like, an actual place. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then they built the set. But the interiors are worse, worse sets. There was no... Yeah. So they, they made a big the point set. in the promotion to say that there was no reuse of footage, if that helps with yeah, what you're asking. They recreated everything. Everything was a recreation. They didn't use a single frame from The Shining in this movie. Really? According to them. That's what they're saying. I wonder if they just didn't get the rights. Probably. Interesting. Because <laughs> it's not called Couldn't The Shining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two. <laughs> Too much of the budget. Yeah. They but it up the, cash, eh? the uh, overall, I thought the performances were, were good. I did like Rebecca Ferguson's character, like what they were doing, but I did not like it in that movie. Interesting. That's how I had to sum them up. I, um, I feel that. I feel but that. Ewan McGregor, I thought was fantastic, especially in the beginning. Like you really bought that he was, you know, struggling. Like it was... It was very illuminating yes. to kind of show that side of it because you kind of illuminating, shiny. It was Sorry. bright and shiny. Uh, I I I liked I liked those parts of it. Ewan McGregor I thought was great, um, but when it came and actually the girl I don't know her name, Kylie. Kylie, I thought she was fantastic. Um, Abra. The Abra, yeah. Yeah, she was great. She was just great. Um, great spot. But. Other than that, the movie didn't blow me away. Hmm. Hmm. Phil, let's jump over to you. What are your hmm. thoughts about Dr. Sleep? Do you share their yeah, sentiments? Yeah, I share a lot about what they're saying. Um, Cheers. The one thing I think that I can't help but think is that I would have done this differently and just completely cut ties with the movie The Shining because it seems like he's really trying to wear a lot of, like, I'll be, like, <clears throat> Stephen King, obviously, widely known that he hates The Shining, the movie. Um and then hates he does hate it really? so to kind of blend this whole like i'll pay homage to the book and then i'll pay homage to the movie right and then everyone's happy i just right. don't think oh, it yeah. worked i think it was kind of <laughs> there were points where people who love the movie are kind of looking at this like no like this this doesn't line up this doesn't line up this right. doesn't line up <laughs> that's me and there are Present. points where i'm sure the book people are like well how are we doing this what are we doing here i, the I haven't read people, the book so I, is... I don't know <laughs> Um, anything about that I would say I kind of enjoyed the interplay between the two groups of people, the two groups um, I thought it was interesting but I thought it kind of needed to it needed something else besides um, just them trying to find each other I don't know what it was but it felt very like the very they're the bad guys or like I want to get them so we got to get them and they're trying to get us so we got to like get away from it. it just felt very staged 
Um, I thought Ewan McGregor was okay. I didn't think he was that great. I didn't think I thought Kylie was really good, but I didn't think anybody else really blew me away. I thought Rebecca Ferguson just suited the character. Mm. But there was a lot of just points fine. where I'm like, especially in the first half of the movie, where I'm like, "What are we doing here?" And like, <laughs> bum, like, bum, fuck America. Like looking at baseball games and looking at Tiny girls town. in the park. And yeah, like, I'm just like. Are we going to do this movie? Like, are we going to be here with these characters? And, like, are we going to be like, oh, we're in this small town in Idaho. Oh, we're in this part of New York. Or we're in this part of New Jersey. And then they just kind of drop that halfway through. We're After like, We're traveling changes. around, but we don't even know, like, I'm like, where are we? Like, does that matter anymore? Do we need to know what town it's in to, yeah. like, like, connect with the movie? I just felt very all over the place for me. It felt very, like, scattered. I it was, hated that. It was trying to do a lot of things, but I don't mm. think it did anything well which is my problem with it yeah. but i kind of enjoyed the like like you said the like harry potterness of it where it was kind of like they were fighting back and forth and, mm. um i thought some of the visual effects were really good with uh um with some of the dead and dying members mm. uh yeah did not really sure how i feel about the whole s- steam thing which we can get into but um, it's a little gross mm. pretty fucked up but i thought the visual effects of people well dying done though were really well yeah. done. So I, I did like some things, but I don't think I don't think I enjoyed this movie overall. And it feels long. It like, feels mm. long. Feels very long. I don't know how long it is, but it feels long. Coming than from a man is. who saw The Irishman this weekend, which yesterday, is, it's, yeah. it's yesterday, which is three and a half hours. This felt long. This feels longer <laughs> than that, and this is probably an hour shorter. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's two and a half, right? Yeah. yeah. This is. Well, I'll jump in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let her rip. Um, rip us. I don't know. I, I, oh, he loved it. <laughs> he loved it. Got it. I didn't love it. Um, Great. Oh, I didn't think it was shit though. Um, huh. There were definitely parts that I disliked, and I feel like I'm the opposite of how you felt. Like you liked all the Overwatch hotel um, or Overlook hotel. Sorry, not Overwatch. Overwatch. <laughs> Uh, the yes. Overlook Hotel stuff. I think so. I think because I literally saw The Shining right before this. Right. <laughs> that stuff kind of triggered me. It, it felt it felt like, uh, I don't know, like... It, Out of place? It was, um, I don't know, it's like I took advantage of it. Like, used mm. it improperly almost. Like Okay. Like, I don't know, like it took advantage of, of being able to tie in to The Shining, to this great film. And it was oh, like... Fuck. Um, ex- exploit, exploitative. I think okay, there we go. Scott, don't talk me out of the very few things. No, no, I you're liked. right. You're right. You're right. Good, <laughs> Scott. And, shut up. <laughs> like the scenes where they have the original cast people, but recast, like the people from The Shining recast. Great, right? Um, that took me right. Out of it. <laughs> they were very generous with the lady, the mom, the, mom, the mother. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't get us What's her name? Shelley Duvall. <laughs> yeah. Is that. Yeah. Yeah, she's hot now. Shelly D- yeah, she's <laughs> she's changed a bit. Hotter than I, I remember. I, Her ears got smaller. I would say there's the scene of the where she's in the corner and the axe comes through the yeah, door. Yeah, that was done well. I was like the here's Johnny moment. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that looked really that well. Look, that they recreated that scene to a very. Theme. See, nice. that's why I didn't believe you when they said they didn't get the rights because that particular scene looked so good I thought that yeah. it was a, it was that, I thought it was her like I'm I thought sure. it was Shelly Duvall the, the scene that I thought they more. literally must have lifted was the like elevator blood part mm. um, because literally uh, you know in seeing just seeing the, the shining an hour before was it the same <laughs> literally the way the blood came out of the elevator was the exact same I so think it, it must have been a CG recreation. did the doors open in the original though no it did not no he just watched the doors it. do not open. I thought they did. That was going to be the blood just bottle. pours out the edge of the door. So really? maybe they reused that one shot. Around. I don't think so. I, I feel like it was a different angle. It, felt like. it was a different angle. I think oh, they just oh. CG'd it, but it's just the way that they. Because mm-hmm. like, that's a legendarily difficult shot. Yeah. Apparently that was like fucking insane. They they hundred percent CG'd it in this. They, oh, they, they there's no oh, way. Yeah. Just yeah. because the blood came out the exact same way. Like sprayed out on you a certain can't spot, recreate a and then fluid. It pours in the yeah. flow like in a certain way. Yeah. So that it had to have been CG. Look good though. It did, but then it was just like, oh, this. we're here. We're just in a theme park. We're just gonna turn and see the attraction. Yeah. Like, Rebecca yeah. Ferguson just turns and sees it, and it's like, yeah. but how does this fit in? What does this? Remember what does this, this serve? Yeah. Right? Remember What's this? the point of it? It's just like, oh, we're just gonna have a visual callback um, to The Shining just Ready because Player we can. Ready Player One did it already, guys. He should have beat them to the punch. 
Just saying. Yeah, I don't know. Like some, and and especially there's a there's a scene where um, he's at the bar, uh, in, the, in the gold room. I I <laughs> dislike that, that yeah, scene that. Um, well, quite a bit. Well, we can get to that in spoilers, but um, very lazy exposition in that. Isn't it? Yeah, so lazy. I I do like Rebecca Ferguson in this, and I don't I don't I don't hate the way the story went with the the steam cult. Um, <laughs> We've named them now. Yes. Thank you, the Steam Eaters. <laughs> <laughs> when I was looking at the synopsis um, on Google, it said Thanks. that Steam uh, suckers. No, the they're the true not like as a proper noun, like like K N O T. Yeah, like the true not. True, like capital T R U E space capital K. True not. That's true the not. I like the Steam like, Eaters. True that. The Steam Cult is a much better. Can name. I tweet Stephen King? Steaming King? Rename Steam Eater Cult. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Steam Suckers. Fuck the true not. Um, I didn't hate it. I do think there was sort of a side plot they could have cut with the blonde girl there. Yeah. Um, oh, get her out. <laughs> I thought that was going to lead to something. Um, it kind of did with some of her abilities, but you, you don't necessarily have to do um, have those couple scenes in the beginning um, necessarily. I didn't hate those scenes, but the way... Once you step back and you look at the film as a whole, like it didn't fit in. Mm-hmm. It wasn't necessary. Um, I do like those scenes, but it's like, how do they fit into like Danny's story and his arc, right? Um, and I do like his arc, but again, like you guys are saying, like it, it's such a weird movie. You know, you have yeah, the steam weird. cult <laughs> aspect. You have the um, so we're sticking with this. Eh? You have the Overlook Hotel. You know, Danny Torrance. You know, storyline. Um, and sort of getting over his issues, and sort of competing with each other, and it's kind of like I like each part in their own sort of aspect, but together it, it doesn't really work. Mm-hmm. You know, um, they don't work together. See, I, I think like. if they had done something like um, if if they had somehow taken the steam cult in any way and put them into The Shining. I just use the word steam cold. I'm not happy about it. We're there. We're there now. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. If they had somehow, like, not tied it in because it was done before, but if there was some mention or something of, like, other people out there in The Shining, like, something, I would have had a much easier time believing I don't the disagree. steam cold. I don't disagree. With or, like, even though, like, the essence, you know, the steam, if that had somehow been... Maybe it's in the book. Maybe. Oh, it could be. In, it's, pro- it's definitely in the book. But it, like if it, it could be book things that we're not getting. But if it was, there. I could see book fans being screaming right now. At yeah. Whatever they're watching this on, being like, "You fucking idiots! It's in the book." I just um, want. I believe that everything, like like a lot of the doc, you know, the stuff we're seeing is in the book, Doctor Sleep. But yeah. It's like, it's still it doesn't make a cohesive. Exactly. That's what I'm piece, saying right? about Stephen King hating The Shining. Yeah. Like okay, well you don't understand what makes a good movie. Mr. King. We understand yeah. what makes a good book. We understand it's what makes a great book. A great it's book. not a direct yeah. adaptation, but it's an yeah. adaptation. Mm-hmm. Right. And Kubrick, you know, cherry picked the things that he liked. You know what? Perfectly said. Mm-hmm. I feel like Mike Flanagan needed to cherry pick more. Mm-hmm. He, cherry he did not. He, he, he was a crowd pleaser. Was, yeah, he was I'm sure he directly did yeah. A stew, one might say. <laughs> he, so I mean, what, you know, when I think about this movie, I can't really think of a lot I I really disliked except for like the recasting stuff. Um, you know, everything else I, I generally um, liked in this film, it's just, as a whole, it, it doesn't really work for me um, as a sequel that. to The Shining. So, that. yeah, like, I, I I thought the performances were good all around. Um, good. Yeah. I, High praise. I mean, I don't have much else to say. Okay. Um, let's get into our ratings. Oh, fuck, I forgot. How we can talk some spoilers. Um, okay. right. I'm going to start off. I'm going to go. Just listen. All right. It's a three. Ooh. Three out of five. Okay. I'm going to go heavy two. Ooh. I was going to go light three. And I am going to go light three. Ooh. Yeah. Heavy two. Mm. Damn. Right right down the middle. Yeah. I liked some, hated others stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, fair warning if you haven't seen Doctor Sleep, we're going to talk some spoilers. Um,. Anything you guys want to mention? Who's Doctor Sleep? Ewan yeah, McGregor. Ewan yeah, McGregor. He's Dr. Danny Torrance. Gotcha. Okay. In the hospice facility, when he's helping people yeah. pass away, they someone calls him Doctor Sleep. Yeah. So I got I got that, but so like, he is Dr. Sleep. why is he Doctor Sleep though? Like, why? 
He doesn't have the power to help people sleep. He just helps. He them helps them relax. Before relax they, before they okay. die. Okay. He he's sends okay. them off into the slumber. He's like land. the cat. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. The cat. Yeah. See, that doesn't fit into the plot whatsoever. That no. Human cut, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like what the fuck? It's is called Doctor Sleep, but you, you get a couple of shots of him. See. As yeah. an orderly, and that See, doesn't factor into his development. called Dr. Sleep, yeah. and there's a five-minute scene. Uh, Tying in the title. I, I, I think I would have liked to see Lazy. somebody like die and have him help them like pass away easy, and then he can kind of take that as like his like purpose and then get off the alcohol, because it felt very like abrupt. Like, okay, he's clean now, and he's like working at this hospice place. Oh, yeah, and he like knows where things are because he's connected to people. Oh, yeah, and he helps people die. And then, like, they just kind of went on from there. Yeah. Like, I felt like there was no, like, meaningful character development. You talked about you liked his arc. I, was, I did not like his arc at all. It felt very, like, he's good because now he's feeling better. And he's sober. And sober people are nice. And drunks are not. And, of course, he like, comes face to face with his dad at the bar. Like, the laziest. Oh. I fucking hated that The scene. side profile was killing me. Well, recasting aside, I did hate the whole recast of it. But. Yeah. I don't know, I hated that scene, and I hated how he's like, just verbal diarrhea, just like, yeah, me and mom moved to Florida because we couldn't stand snow, and he's just like, it's just like so fan service and lazy. just beating you, remember? Yeah, remember? I'm his son? <laughs> remember? Yeah. Dad, you drank this, Jack Daniels? Fuck, it was like, puke. Like, they didn't have to, it's gross. if you had seen The Shining, they didn't have to like, literally speak. Like whack you over the head. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was a bit too. It could have been a lot more subtle, you know. I, I would have liked if he had literally just. I would have first of all. I would have loved to have seen Jack Nicholson. Like I don't know. CG Rogue One. CG. I would have been happy with. Yeah. Uh, full Irishman. Yeah. Like no, I haven't. What? The full D H. Jack is an Irishman. Okay. okay. It's okay. Just go with it. Guys, it's my first time. It's it's my first it's been a episode. It's back. His first time. Okay. Let's not get Be me gentle. all worked up. Um, yeah, if they, if they had somehow done, like, some sort of, like, yeah, age regeneration on Jack Nicholson, I would have lugged that a lot more. Yeah, like, if it was, if it, if they got the people back somehow, yeah, they somehow, recreated some them. Way. I just, everything <laughs> that he said, like, that anymore, like, I wasn't even connecting this guy, like, half the, for half of that scene, I didn't even believe that that was his yeah, dad. You're like, who the fuck is that? I was, I, sorry, Blade Runner 2049, Sean Young, like, mm-hmm. they brought her back. The actress, Sean mm-hmm. Young, and de-aged her. Yeah. Like, if they could have done that with Jack Nicholson or Shelley Duvall or something. I would have been more into it if they did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know that's asking an awful lot. They're both retired, but... Is Jack yeah. Nicholson retired? Oh, yeah. They've been moving like 10 years. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, but... Yeah, I think... You know, I, I've just been thinking about, <laughs> yeah. you know, something with the do- whole Doctor Sleep thing. Like, if there was a better send-off, because, you know, at the end of this, he sort of, like sacrifices himself he like lights the boiler on fire yeah the boiler room on fire and like burns the hotel down yeah. um, and sort of goes down with the ship um I, I i wish there would have been somehow a scene that you know was the opposite maybe with um abra doing the same thing to him and just sending him off to mm. to sleep or something you know yeah there could have been a better t- uh, sort of tie-in or payoff mm-hmm. uh, she's now dr sleep yeah, you know, or, or something. Yeah, something. And now she gets sense. a third movie, and it's her, and a totally different story, and you don't have to tie it to The Shining at all. Yeah. yeah that would have worked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cinematic Universe. Mm-hmm. Shining. Yeah. yeah. My favorite. Um, That's what I was worried about. Yeah, I, I did like um, some of the visual tie-ins, um, like the more subtle ones I appreciated. The office um, scene was That nice. office. Woo! Yeah. That got me going. Sorry, yeah, the office was like the office. same, I guess. Yes, the office scene. We all know it. Bruce Greenwood. <sighs> Thank you. Oof. That looked like the exact same office that he was in in the beginning. Um, Jack Nicholson in The Shining. That's that's the literally point. what we're saying. That's the point. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Shining know if it's the, the exact same or is it very visually... It looked like it was painted the same color. color. It looks, <laughs> looks like it's, a replica. Yeah. It fits in the universe. Mm. Um, but, you know, just the way they started the movie with the sort of... The, the score as well as, you know, oh. the sort of overhead visual of like the forest. Yeah. And then they recreate later the op- opening of the sh- of the Shining, um, oh. but like in snow, um, you know when they finally go that to was the hotel. Beautiful. I will uh, say that. Like there's this, this, the shot where you see that the sort of island in the lake, and that was like a little like literally lifted from the Shining, um, but snowy. 
So it was like it was kind of nice to see those callbacks, and then when when it sort of that scene starts and you get the same score from The Shining as well, mm-hmm. and it only that score only really comes in when uh, the Overlook Hotel stuff. Yeah, uh, sort of. Uh, I love that comes into the story, like that that those yeah. strings. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Amazing. Um, yeah, I do like the thing as well with the woman from two three seven. Mm-hmm. Um, she was in the tub. She was ready to go quite a few times in this yeah. movie. They're really leaning on. Them. They were leaning into it. Yeah, but I do like. She the looks scene. the same. Yeah, she looks. She looks great. She looks yeah, great. yeah, she looks pretty she good. Look, but just the like, scenes with, with Danny. <laughs> When Danny like goes in into the bathroom and like closes the door, yeah. He's oh like, How yeah. How about the fuck this? Fuck. Bitch? Yeah. <laughs> um, fuck I like you, I like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they did kind of they did kind of show that scene a shot of her with the um, shower curtain. Like, yeah. A bit like they did it like four so times. I'm saying. Yeah. Really... But I did like you know how he goes into the bathroom and just like fucks her up. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, I I appreciated that. Um, yeah, anything else? Uh, I don't know, really bad. Not much to add. I wasn't crazy about the boxes closing visual, like him mm-hmm. putting them in the box, and then at the end, like, they're not special, they're starving, and all of them coming back and eating Rebecca Ferguson. I just, it was very ridiculous, mm-hmm. very on the nose. Yeah, a, didn't... a lot of the one-liners were pretty rough to me. Yeah, see, that one didn't fit. That one didn't hit the right key when he said they're starving. How about when she's, like, jamming her finger into his femoral artery? She's like, (laughs) you taste like whiskey! See what I mean? like, sucking his theme. A lot. (laughs) I just, a lot of, (laughs) a lot of the one-liners. I just had to get that out there where... A lot of those scenes, when I think about it now, it's like, Kubrick wouldn't have done that. See what Mm. I'm saying? Like, could you imagine (laughs) Kubrick doing this Dr. Sleep? He would have gone much more subtle with it, I just feel. You know, like, the scenes when all the sort of ghosts are, like, basically attacking Rebecca Ferguson at the end. Right. Like, how their, like, hands are, like, going in her face and everything. Becoming part of her. Like, that was, was like... like... It was a bit over the top. Like, it probably would have been done in a more menacing way. I don't know, it would have been more... Left more to the imagination. Yeah, that, that's just get more out of it than just show them literally... But Scott, we have CG now. Right. We can do this. And God damn it, we're going to use it. Yeah. I would have <laughs> loved to have seen him, like... Because he was chasing her with the axe, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Like, that was him in The Shining, like, being chased around by Jack Nicholson with the axe. Yeah, it was a the, good visual callback. And like, well, me, like yeah. wouldn't, like, put her in the bathroom and let him, like, slam the axe into the door and then uh-huh. be like... Oh shit! Like this is what my dad did, and then he kind of yeah. like that's when he gets that like snap out of a moment where he's like, "Yeah, get the fuck out of uh, here!" And then like that would have been good. And then yeah, because if that girl hadn't been in the bathroom, that scene would have been pretty good. Yeah. It's so borderline. Some of this stuff, it's like, would it have been great to have that subtle bit callback, mm-hmm. or is it just exploitative again? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's that fine line of like, I don't know, I. I, for some reason, and now I just get this feeling like they should just let this in alone. They should That's just, what I was know? thinking the whole time, man. I was like, like, just hey, fucking leave it alone. Put it in a box in the snow. <laughs> yeah, and half just an hour forget in. about it. Yeah. I was like, oh. How pissed would you guys have been if she was walking through the snowy maze and just out of, all of a sudden you just saw like an arm like just frozen like that and they just didn't even go by it. Like they didn't even say anything. It was just a frozen arm. Just or just the face or something. Something like just the frozen face. I think they yeah. did do that. Like I'm shocked. I was did. looking for it. Yeah. yeah, I was pretty pissed already. <laughs> I so. wanted to see that. I was pissed <sighs> when that scene, like the she's almost getting captured by the box, mm-hmm. and then she's like, "Wait!" and it Breaks cuts it. back yeah. to like that room, and I'm like, "Fuck, we got another like 20 minutes." Left. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I was yeah. done at that. We point. all know this is no. I was ready for it to over. just be over. I was. Yeah. That's my big drawback. Well, I think that'll do it for our review of Doctor Sleep. Phil, where can people find us? You find me on. You, you find me. You can find you, sir. On Letterbox at Wicked Swami. You can find us. It's been a while. Ty, where can people find you? It's been a while. Uh, people can find us on Facebook. I want to know. Yeah, I oh, you want to know. Yeah, where can we find you? Uh, you can find for me it. constantly wandering Contact and it. not being sure of where I am. Just you know, also on what's it called? Letterboxed. There it is. At Up Real Thai. Oh, you can find me on Twitter it. at Franey25 and Instagram and Letterboxd at Up Real Adam. You can find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at Up Real Sky as well. If you like this Sorry. video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. 
And as always, keep it real.